Hello, friends. It's your friendly neighborhood, Midnight and Beyond speaking. Welcome back to Undertale. In the last episode, we fought Papyrus, we dated Papyrus, and Papyrus showed us a world by which I have never seen before. In this episode, we will progress through our game, and we'll have to deal with the fact that whatever the game has in store for us in the future will never top the wonder and amazement that I have just witnessed. Pretty looking. Oh, the background changed again. Ooh, I like how it always changes. Like, I wonder if it does that for like the other themes as well. Uh, I wonder if the simple one even does anything. Cause like, I like the idea of if it was just like a white outline, and then it had like a little bunch of like white silhouettes or not silhouettes, but like outlines of something. Kind of like what I did with my Earthbound Let's Play, how we had just the outlines of the four heroes. It was like a constellation sort of thing. Uh, but then also with my Rockaway LP, I had the uh, orders change every time we went to a new area. So, I don't know, we'll just have to see, I guess. It was called the basic one, so I doubt it changes over and over. I think this is the only one that does change constantly. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I wanna be just like her when I grow up. Are we talking about Undyne? Hey, don't tell me my parents he I'm here, haha. -ha. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. That's very funny. Uh, the sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Save the game. And talk to Sans. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, he does he actually does know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on their seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or burger? Well, I'm a vegetarian, so I'll go with fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have some double order of fries. Oh, that was the kitchen, not the bathroom. Okay, so I guess that explains why I can't go back there. So, what do you think? Of my brother. He's a cool dude. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if he wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Okay then. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh, no thank you. I actually don't like ketchup. More for me. Oh, he drinks it? Oh god. And he scratches his butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Unfortunately. So you know all about it. The echo flower. Oh, that one? I thought you meant flowy. They're all over the, the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, the pirates told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Thanks. 
Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Well, I literally can because I don't have that money, but if I say yes, just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. Jeez, 10,000 G for fries. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. <laughs> well, that was certainly an adventure, and we gotta walk all the way back now. Great, cutting away. We're in a brand new environment. Let's see what this has in store for us. This is a box. You could put an item in or take an item out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. <laughs> use the box, yes. Uh, nothing new in here, so I guess we could just keep going. I don't have to, whoa, what the, okay. Huh, what if I go down here? Very skinny pathway. Could I go down? I cannot. Or maybe that's just like the leg of this bridge? Probably, that makes more sense than being a skinny pathway. Uh, an echo flower? I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Hmm. If we go, no, we can't walk up from here. We go up here, though. I know that is the water. I don't know. There's like the graphics are kind of Akko Taco. I can't decipher what everything is. And hey, hidden behind the waterfall. Good old video game logic. There's a tutu line on the ground here. Will you take it? Of course you will. You got the old tutu. So yeah, it's kind of interesting that like they switch back and forth. I'm pretty sure the human isn't meant to have any specific gender uh, because there are all these different, uh, finally, protective piece of armor. Uh, we go back and forth between like a manly bandana or then we get like a bow, sometimes a tutu. You equip the old tutu. I wish you could actually see the human wearing the tutu. That'd be kind of funny, uh, but whatever. Let's see if I can deposit this. Use the box, yes. Put the bandana away. I wish we could sell these things, but unfortunately not. Oh, geez. Doesn't actually knock me off. Well, it sort of does, but not entirely terrible. Let's just head on back up and go back to the side. There you go. And hello. Is that us? Interesting. Um. Hi, Untine. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, you see, you see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh jeez. Oh god. He could walk over, or she could walk over. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Run away? Okay. So that's undying. What the fruit are you? Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her to attention? Haha. <laughs> Come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. And you trip and fall. You fail! Save the game. A feeling of dread hangs over you. But you stay determined. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Huh, okay, so we gotta get ourselves four bridge seeds. Are these the seeds? Yes, okay. One. Two. Three. Four. We made a puzzle. Hello, and there's an enemy! 
a sexy seahorse, Aaron, flexes in. Why is he just named Aaron? I don't get it. Minor damage. Oh yeah, we still have the gloves, so we have to punch rapidly. Woo, I'm sweating. And he's attacking us with his sweat. Okay. Smells like an underwater barnyard. Uh, let's flex with him. You flex! Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. For both of us, our attack increases. Flexing contest, okay. Oh jeez. Oh god! This is weird. Oh jeez. Oh man! Oh no 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 no! Aaron's ready for your next flex. Shoo! You tell Aaron to go away. Feisty, huh? And he's sweating up a storm again. Great. And I'm getting hurt. Great. And some other third thing. Great. Spare. Education, hobby, talent. I don't know why I tried sparing because I knew it wouldn't do anything. Let's try a stronger attack. Oh, geez. I'm sweating. And here comes the sweat. Drop, 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 drop. And we're good. Spare. You won. You earned zero experience and 21 gold. <sighs> got these mushrooms. I don't know if turning them on or off does anything. We got. We can make another bridge if we wanted to. Bring a bell. Panera's made the bell blossom. Can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Put that thing back where it came from. Or so help me. Okay, I didn't want to have you guys wait and watch me try and figure this out because, like, it's like sort of. Oh, I could read a sign possibly. Uh. I can't drop it. Oh, wait, I can drop it into this water. Uh, let's see what happens if I go down here with this. Uh, I think I figured out the solution, so I just wanted to cut away until I got that. Sort of like why I don't LP Professor Layton games blind, or why I have the notes for the puzzles, just because I don't want you to just watch me stand here and try and figure it out, because it would take forever. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. <laughs> wow, how wonderful. And I assume nothing would happen if I put it over there, because that's just like into the void. But what I think you gotta do is go down here and drop it from here. That should work. Here's Numero Trace. And... Numero the last one. Oh, come on! There you go! Jeez, of course it failed on the last stinking one. Rain. Hello, this is Papyrus! How did I get this number? It was easy! I just dialed every number sequen sequentially until I got yours! Yo ho 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 So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true, true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Yes, no. Well, I am. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Oh wait, he was asking for undying because they're searching for me. I just realized that. I'm dumb. Got it! Wink wink. Have a nice day! Click. So should I switch out of the dusty tutu then? Oh boy, I'm gonna die. Wishing room. I wish I didn't just say that. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. And an enemy. Washua. Sure. Your soul is unclean. Tweet! Oh, Jesus! This is weird. This is a weird pattern. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Uh, we'll clean him. You ask Washua to clean you, or he'll clean us? It hops around excitedly. Green means clean, tweet. Uh, oh jeez. Okay, so I can get healed. Washua's friends with the little bird, spare. You won, you earned zero experience, 10 gold. What do we got over here now? Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Look through the telescope, sure. Uh, check wall. Okay, I will do so, but anything else interesting these stars? I'm sure there's some other secret pattern we could find, but I guess that's the main one is to just check the wall. 
This wall. <laughs> this wall. This wall. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Uh, is that Papyrus, probably? Because he was talking about beating the horoscope. Or this wall, I guess. Uh, what's down here? Okay, go in here. It's a dead end. And ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearby nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. I wish we could see it. And I wish I knew where I was going! I swear if Undyne is right at the end of this. Okay, cool. Uh, does this mean Undyne's- I'm- just to be safe, I'm gonna take off the- I don't- Oh god, I- how do I- How- 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 Oh, oh no, I can't take off the tutu. I never thought I'd say that in my entire life, but I can't take off the tutu. I'm gonna die. Hi, buddy! Oh god, Jesus Christ, Christ, Christ! What? Oh god. Okay, I don't know how this works, but whatever. Uh, I could escape the battle by just like uh, w waiting long enough. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I should not have said I had the tutu. Papyrus, why do you betray me? I thought we were lovers. We were spaghetti soulmates. Oh god. Oh my god, why is this so incredibly long? Get the fruit out of here. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh god, I'm actually gonna die, I'm actually gonna die! <gasps> no, he killed the fish dude! Or is that just a pumpkin? I think he killed the fish dude. Oh god. And he's out, or she's out of here. Well, I almost died. Now would be a really great time for a checkpoint. Oh, thank God it wasn't actually you. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. Wait, that was you? And you didn't die from it. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. I don't want to see her again. That was terrifying. All right, Papyrus, what the fruit? Sell, Papyrus's phone. Ring, ring. Watch your step! Undyne really cares about this grass for some reason. Are you watching? What? Huh. Well, we made it to the end. This is cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. How do we get the mice out? I want to talk to the mice. Squeak. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract cheese from the mythical crystal, it fills you with determination. Okay, it's getting old now. We're going to end this off right here. I got to uh, take some time to recuperate after what the fruit just happened. Next time on Undertale, we're going to hopefully not fall for another trap from papyrus that was actually kind of clever this is midnight and beyond and i will see you all later good night